Looney Farm Guy here, and this is the Massey Ferguson 8100 pack by Nico DU55 on Farming Simulator 22. It's for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 here on the Georgia Farms map. This is 53.13 megabytes to download. It is a pack of two tractors, a small and medium sized tractor 26 and 27 slots each on console so a little, eh, i'd say mid-range slot count for um a tractor now let's um let's just get our help window on here and find it under vehicles and we'll look at the small one first because most of the options are the same, except there's a couple of different ones. But uh, let's look at the small one first here. As I said, $58,460 to purchase. 135 to 155 horsepower manual power shift transmission. 226 liters of fuel capacity. 26 miles per hour top speed. Configurations. This will be focusing on the front end of this. We have standard. We have 180, 300. 420 540 660 kilogram weight oh 780 900 900 is your largest um weight in this option we also have a three point link and a three point link with a pto so if you're going with uh the weights or the pto those are the prices there so we're going to with three point pto engine setup the 8110 at 135 horsepower we got the 8120 at 145 and then the 8130 at 155 horsepower wheel brands trailerboard uh, let's go through each one of these here trailerboard we have standard wide wide two wide three narrows rear twin so it's not a narrow it goes right to standard twin standard all around standard two standard three wide four wide five wide six seven eight nine uh rear twin again with the uh, uh, that style of um links to it and then again so the blue there is a different style of uh, attaching the twin wheels together as you can see here and then back to standard now when we go over to michelin it's generally the same options more or less with the twins twins all around and narrow but this one has a narrow twin and narrow all around with that type of attachment and then we go into this with going through all the different various attachments and then a rear twin narrow with that style of attachment and there we go twin twin narrow twins all around so uh, we, as we go to bkt we have a similar options there slightly different we don't have any narrow options midas um again here with with no narrow options continental Wait a minute, was this a narrow? Yeah, we have narrows there. Then we go with, yeah, no, tw oh, twin, yeah, no twin narrows. And Vertistein, a gamut of choices there with a narrow, but no twin narrows. So we'll put those on for now. Front fenders, you have a choice of yes or no. Datastronic, that uh, puts a little, uh, looks like it's a phone, <laughs> uh, right there. If you stare right through that driver's window, there, something appears there. We're going to, yeah, CB and GPS, uh, we got a, so a CB, that's an interior decorate. Uh, the, these are all decorations, matrix, trimble, yeah. Those are all interior decoration. Trailer, low attach. Now, this is interesting. Trailer, low attach only. Then we have position one. So notice it appears, a hitch appears, and you have various hitch positions available. So whatever you choose there, um, yes. Lights, we have a new. We have 
additional front lights so there they appear and additional back lights on the rear fenders and then additional front and back and then LED front and back 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 and front front and back back and front so all those in regular I guess I'm guessing halogen or LED beacon we have the choice of no beacons or left beacon right beacon left and right and then no so then we have beacon type one two three four five six seven or eight whichever one you choose some of them are led some of them are probably incandescent of some kind various styles whichever you like signs and horns no we have a triangle we have a warning signs we have horns triangle and horns warning signs and horns are no so european or north american whichever you choose there uh, beacon strobe front grill top of the cabin uh, where does those appear I have a uh, or both I have I have some with both so um, we'll see what that is and then uh, a Seria Pro compact so it's precision farming ready you can have the precision farming sensors as an option main color we have red black red two white or a orange communal kind of um you know municipal i like to call it municipal orange is what uh, we kind of refer to it here sort of or used to anyways um there so the next tractor is in medium tractors as i said it has mostly the same options so we're not going to dwell too much on there we have the weight options up to 1140 kilograms also the three point or three point width pto engine options 160 180 or 200 horsepower it's only going to cost you 4600 dollars wheel brands we have all the same wheel brands and as far as i can tell the wheel um options are identical to the smaller tractor so whatever you've seen on the small tractor is also available on the alert or medium tractor front fenders yes or no uh data 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 yeah the the phone i think it's a phone the cb gps um, back attacher options same there lights we have the led or whatever same beacons the same beacon type same signs and horns are the same beacon strobe the same options exhaust we do have an exhaust option that's different on here flap of exhaust or standard and serio pro ready and then the colors right all right so enough of that uh let's hop into the small tractor first That's how she starts up these are uh, i have two base models where i didn't add any options whatsoever horn lights yes definitely halogen yellow but very um very bright just driving it around it seems very peppy 25 miles per hour it's you know not um pretty good for this size of a vehicle nothing really wrong with that interior so let's uh, this one i didn't have any of the extra options so interior here very nice all the gear shifting and stuff like that yeah look i mean every there's stuff going on here it looks all looks pretty good um there did i show the front loader yeah well we have a front loader option on each of these so just so you know um <clears throat> so this uh cultivator is just a bit over rated a little bit over 
what this tractor is rated at for horsepower. Let's hire a worker. And it seems to hang up there a bit, but then it quickly gears up into the uh, the proper range and gear and no problem with getting up to the nine miles per hour so a very stout little tractor for sure seems to operate quite uh, quite well looks good sounds good the sound is actually really nice and um, when we see it here at the end You can definitely hear it shifting. The engine sound sounds right. It does that little bit of a hang up in seven and then bam into, I say at seven miles per hour and then bam into the, into the next, uh, it just, yeah. So, that is the small tractor base model now i have the same one over here with the big engine the twin wheels the front loader attached the weight on the front if we hop in and take a look over here uh is that no that's not a f is that a phone is it like a i don't know what that is um if we turn the lights on it lights up um, so let's start it was running so let's start it up nice all right we don't have any options for like opening windows or anything like that it's a nice basic simple vehicle let's see if the horn yeah the horn sounds the same here's the um, well there's the lights actually so the lights are the LED. You can uh, right away tell it's a much brighter, whiter, almost bluish light. And there is the flashers, beacons, extra beacons. Now that there was said extra beacons on the roof, but I wonder if uh, because I have the, hmm, interesting. I chose all but anyways um, so that's that let's uh, drop down this hire a worker and this is with the 200 horse power no 155 horsepower here and does a little bit of the same thing kind of takes a second or two to it's like okay what am I pulling and then gets right into the proper gear and um, gets to it and no problem pulling that uh, that again is something a little bit bigger than what it should be pulling I think it's 160 horsepower this, this tractor is rated 155 in this configuration workers seem to like it they don't seem to have any trouble um, operating this piece of equipment right so that's a small one we're not going to go through as many options i mean uh, uh, we're, we're going to look at the the, the uh, medium one now and um basically it, it's all the same as as much as options we don't have any options or anything but we'll start it up here same wonderful sound now these are the uh the smello yellow halogen lights but still quite adequate as a matter of fact um we're just gonna switch around so notice this is the 160 horsepower model and I'm pulling the same cultivator as that one over there 
just because this is um, well matched up perfectly basically with this cultivator and uh, very easily gets up and very smoothly gets up to the um, operating speed for this cultivator very nice inside as you can see it's uh, we don't have the lights on so we didn't have the extra bit on the whatever that was worker yeah worker has no problem with that all that stuff okay so we're just gonna hop in to uh, to this one so now this is the bump the, the bumped up one to 200 horsepower we have uh, all the bits and bops in here we'll get our lights on start it up yeah no extra no extra doohickeys and diddly dwats on this one either which is fine by me um, I've got a fairly large sized cultivator behind this one and just like the others it uh, it's takes care of business as it were um very nice and uh this is obviously a different style of implement i did want to try something that was a three point hmm, typical three point link like the others now this one's a trailed cultivator um obviously it's doing a fine job and We'll just watch the turnaround because sometimes, well, when things work good in one configuration or pulling a certain kind of implement, it doesn't always work well pulling a different kind. However, no surprise here. Um, no issues were found. And... Uh, of course the sound and everything yeah I have the flap top exhaust and that looks just perfect um, I think this is a very well done tractor mod I mean it's not that not that I often say that some aren't but yeah I think uh, anyone who likes um, this style of Massey Ferguson, apparently, there's quite a good description, mod description on this, uh, quite detailed. Also, a little history on it. These were made in France. So, um, yeah, very cool. And there you have it. That's the Massey Ferguson 8100 pack by Nikio DU55 on Farming Simulator 22. Thank you all for watching. And remember, it's only a game, so till the next one, bye for now.